Graham is the communications director for the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Wisdems.org is the website. Uh, Graham, uh, let me just play a clip for you of Paul Weyrich, the guy who founded ALEC, which we were talking about in the last hour. And uh, and basically, this is this is from the 1980 Reagan campaign. He's talking in a church to a group of Republican Christians. And this is what he had to say. Now, many of our Christians have what I call the goo-goo syndrome, good government. They want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. Now, this is the guy who founded ALEC, who was one of the co-founders of the Heritage Foundation, one of the most powerful and influential members in the Republican Party for years and years until he recently died. Uh, Graham, are you seeing that going on in Wisconsin? Yeah, a- a- absolutely. Uh, tell me, tell they, us how. They are throwing out uh, everything and the kitchen sink to support Scott Walker. Uh, Scott Walker is sort of their God's head. Uh, and I know there's other figures in the in this movement that's going around the country, but uh, Scott Walker seems to us as one of the biggest examples of this radical Republican overreach that's going around all over the country, and and they're trucking in boatloads of volunteers, boatloads of money, and they're engaging in voter bribery, they're engaging in collusion, they're engaging in illegal political coordination, they're engaging in voter suppression, they're engaging in some of the most um, anti-democratic things the state's ever seen. And and, and it it started with their recall operation, where they ran it with these out-of-state operators, and um, one point I'd like to make is that Reince Priebus, uh, the chairman of the Republican National Committee, has said that they're all in in their support of Scott Walker, who's kind of his creation, kind of his baby. Reince Priebus is an expert at illegal political coordination with uh, these third-party groups, and you're just seeing that on display right now uh, in Wisconsin. They're, they're, we're, we're just totally under siege by the, the Americans for Prosperity and these corporate front groups that are, are doing everything, every trick imaginable to protect Scott Walker's agenda here. That's amazing. In, uh, s- since 1982, the Republican Party has been operating under a consent degree, to, uh, decree, um, the equivalent, the kind of the corporate equivalent of a, of a restraining order that prevents them from engaging in caging. Can you explain what caging is and tell me if it's happening in Wisconsin? Yeah, and I'm glad that she brought that up because it is happening in Wisconsin. And we were a testing ground for it with uh, AFP, this Americans for Prosperity, this Koch Brothers corporate front group that's uh, coming in to help Scott Walker. Uh, last summer, the, the, the same people that helped out uh, help Scott Walker get elected were recorded uh, talking about a voter caging scheme here in Milwaukee. What voter caging is, I'll, I'll try to simplify it. What it is, is it basically you, you, you pick a block of voters you uh, render their votes ineligible because of uh, uh, election uh, technicalities, and you're targeting these groups based on what you think their performance is going to be. Here in Milwaukee last year, they were targeting uh, African-American ward. Uh, Here this year, uh, the AFP was sending mailers to voters in at least two of of the recall districts to Democrats, primarily Democrats, in a, uh, with bad information, with information that would have rendered their votes ineligible, the head of uh, the telling AFP, them to vote two days late. You're talking about yeah, well, two days late exactly, where the yeah. where the where the votes would be ineligible. The head of the AFP here in Wisconsin, who used to be the chief of staff for a an AFP run congressman named Sean Duffy, uh, who who took Dave Obie's seat, uh, the head of the AFP here said it was just a little typo. Now you you've been around the block long enough to know that these are expensive mailings. They yeah. they, they they're seen by many sets of eyes, uh, that there's a template used in this mailing. So they're, they're, we don't believe any a word they say. They have lied up and down the state about their methods, uh, their motivations, and, and how they're trying to protect Scott Walker by any means necessary. Well, can you imagine what would happen if Acorn was still around and they did a mailing into Republican districts saying, uh, here's, your, here's your absentee ballot, be sure to turn it in by Thursday when the election was on Tuesday. Well, well, I mean, this, Fox this, News this, would be 24-7. This yeah, would be like the they, Holocaust. They would have stopped. They, we have a lot of right-wing uh, radio shows uh, here in the state. There's a couple people out of Milwaukee that I can... I can name, but um, the, well, I'll go you one better. Um, when the Republicans were trying to collect signatures to force the recall of Democratic senators here, they used one of the m- most rotten operations imaginable. They committed 
hundreds, if not thousands, of instances of fraud where they forged names. Uh, they went to a, a Native American reservation, an Indian reservation, and claimed that these signatures were for supporting the Democratic senator, when in fact, in fact they were for forcing his recall. They, they have engaged in these dirty tricks since Scott Walker came in office. They've been engaged in these radical, dirty tricks to support a radical, dirty agenda. And, and it, is, it, it is plain as day that they are going to outspend us by, by mountains. And the only thing is, is, the good thing is, is that the people of Wisconsin are, are awake and they're not going to go back to sleep and they're motivated to stop Scott Walker. Well, here's the, here's the thing that gives me pause. We're talking with Graham Zielinski. He's uh, wisdoms.org. He's the communications director for the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. You had a, uh, granted, nonpartisan, but you had a uh, Supreme Court race just a, f- a month or so ago. Yeah. Where uh, a little bit more than that. April, Joanne yeah. Kloppenberg is, a, if I'm my recollection is uh-huh. right, was the candidate who said that she would, and this was for the deciding vote on the state Supreme Court that could overturn some of Scott Walker's insane policies and initiatives that were, you know, being sued about. And she was going to vote against Walker, and the guy who won was going to vote for Walker, and he won because they discovered a bunch of ballots in the middle of the night in somebody's. I don't know where wherever it was. You you know the details of it, but the bottom line is that that was a very very tight race. It was a it was a race tight enough. I would say to steal. I doubt you would, but um, uh, I, how did that happen? And 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 might that same thing happen here? Well, look, there there are, are plenty of questions that were raised by that result where. Some 13,000 votes were discovered in Waukesha County, which is the, uh, the stronghold of Republican support uh, for, for this candidate. Actually, I, I, just a little side note, Dave Prosser is currently under investigation. The Republican that won is currently under investigation for trying to strangle another justice. Right. Uh, and that's been, uh, I think, turned over to a special prosecutor. But uh, th- th- this guy w- was showing up, the, the guy that, was, that won showed up at all these, these uh, Americans for Progress rallies over the previous summer where he promised Americans for Prosperity. Yeah. Agenda. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's never been done from the bench where a sitting Supreme Court justice runs around saying he's going to support, he's going to compliment somebody's agenda. Uh, it's, it's radical. It, is, um, it seems like a violation of judicial ethics. Yeah, it's a, it's a, but, but they've already they've got the, the majority in the Supreme Court, right. uh, and they're not going to sanction him for, for doing what he was paid to do. Right. Um, so know, now we've got to deny them the majority in the state Senate, and that, thus the elections on Tuesday. We just have 20, 30 seconds left here. Graham Zielinski, what can people do to help out who are not in Wisconsin or in Wisconsin? In the final push, you can go to www.wisdems.org, wisdems.org and either contribute or look for ways you can help. We really need we really need some help here in the home stretch. There you go. Because Carl Rove is pouring hundreds of thousands of dollars millions. into this state, millions of dollars into this state, as as is the Coke front organization uh, Americans for Prosperity and and uh, other, you know, AstroTurf groups. It's amazing. Graham, I wish you the very best. Wis Dems, W I S Dems D E M S.org is the website. Good luck, Graham. On Wisconsin.